Hey there, welcome to the Casual Puzzler and welcome to anyone who is new. Today we are doing my July roundup and if you have been here before, I'm doing it a little bit differently. Instead of showing you every single puzzle that I've done the previous month, I'm pretty much just showing you the highlight reel. These are puzzles either good or bad that I took note on. I have four puzzles that I absolutely loved and I'm excited to share with you. And then I have two that kind of missed the mark for one reason or another. And so we're just going to go into these six puzzles. If you want to see all the puzzles that I did this past month, you can go ahead and check out my Instagram, but we're just going to go over the puzzles that I think you should know about. So let's just get into this. A puzzle that I really enjoyed this month was this one by Clementoni. This one is called Wildcats and fur is not usually my favorite thing, which is funny because I have so many puzzles with cats, but I like more like cartoonsy cats. This one had more fur texture, which kind of scares me. But what I liked about this puzzle was that there were six different cats and they're all different larger cats that have very different patterns. So there was never like a huge section of puzzle pieces that were like just fur. And I didn't mind it at all. I really like this one. I love the coloring. I just like the vibe when I was doing it. It's only 500 pieces, so it's very doable for it being a cat puzzle. And I just really enjoyed this one. It was just super fun. As far as Clementoni goes so far, I've only done two of their puzzles. Both times they've had a little bit more of a crumblier fit, but with this one I didn't have any single false fits. It's just you can't like pick up the whole thing, you know? So something to mention, but I really did enjoy the image and I'm definitely still like keeping an eye out on this brand. The next puzzle I have here is one that I loved. I loved and I wasn't expecting to love so much. This one is from USAopoly and I was kind of expecting this puzzle brand to not have very good quality for some reason. Maybe because a lot of puzzles that I've done in the past where it's like this novelty, this one is Dr. Seuss but they have like a ton of like movie ones and music ones. I was expecting them to have like a paper backing or like just some type of like, I don't know, different quality than what I experienced. But I will say, if every single brand had the quality of this one, I would be so happy. I had no issues with this brand. The coloring was beautiful, it was bright, it was vibrant. I did like the piece cut. Now most of them were just traditional cuts, but they did have a few just more whimsy shaped type puzzle pieces and I really enjoyed the puzzle shapes a lot. And I really, again, like the coloring. I loved the fit. Like I could move whole sections, like there's nine sections, I can move like a whole section up, no issues by like one piece, no puzzle dust, no false fits, like everything about this puzzle I absolutely loved. And it is a thousand pieces, it did not take me long at all, it took me maybe four hours, four and a half hours to do, very quick and easy, definitely nostalgic with all the different Dr. Seuss books, and I loved it so much, and I know a couple of you have already purchased it, have also done it and loved it, so this is definitely one that I'm keeping my eye out for. I feel like their image style is not normally my cup of tea to go towards those like movie poster type puzzles but I liked the quality enough that I'd be if I saw another one where it sparked my interest I would 100% buy it so love this one a lot. Next I have a 2,000 piece puzzle and I don't do large piece counts like this often and for this year I did want to try to branch out and do maybe a 1,500 or 2,000 piece each month. This past month I did do a 2,000 piece and I am so happy that I did because it really isn't as scary as I was expecting it to be. So this is by Ravensburger and it's called Disney Stamps. I have had this one in my collection for a while, back in September of last year. You guys voted for me to do this one and I finally did in my puzzle vlog. So if you were wanting to see me do this puzzle, you can see like a more vlog style type version of me doing this puzzle. So I really enjoyed this one. It was not difficult. It's just a lot of pieces for me. And so I really enjoyed it. It was really fun, really nostalgic, love the quality. I mean, it's a Ravensburger puzzle. It's just giant. So I really didn't enjoy this one. I liked the it was like a collage puzzle without it being like blocks like it's not like the USAopoly one which is like very distinct different pictures this one is stamps in a stamp book so it still has a purpose of why they're more in blocks it has a ton of different Disney characters it's just really happy and I really enjoy this one a lot I have a couple other 2000 piece ones in my collection and I'm itching I'm itching to get another one out here so we'll see we'll see how many more I do in the future but I I'm not as scared of 1500 and 2000 piece ones as I was in the past. This one here from Workman Puzzles, I was expecting to love because I really enjoyed doing the Where the Crawdads Sing puzzle from them. This one though missed the mark with fit. 
Oh my goodness. So this one is called All Good Things Are Wild and Free. I'm not sure if I just got a dud, but this one had the most false fits I've ever experienced in a puzzle. It was so crumbly, so hard to see if the puzzle pieces were in the right place or not. Um, there are different textures, but in certain areas like the, the green and the sky area, you can definitely tell there was false fits. This border up here took me forever because there was false fits and it's not like a hard image. It was just the amount of false fits that occurred was just really frustrating. I also did this one during the puzzle vlog and I like the final image. I just did not enjoy the experience. So this is a brand I'm not really going to be gravitating towards. I do like a lot of their puzzles are based on books because they are actually a book publishing company. As far as puzzles go, I just, I don't know. They're not my favorite. I'd rather do other brands. And this other puzzle that I did that I didn't quite enjoy was this one by Buffalo Games. This is part of their gold collection. And this one is called Maldives. Maldives brunch? <laughs> I want to say Maldives. I don't know. Anyways, first off, I love the packaging. Everything about the packaging I love. It's gold. It's foil. It's fun. I like that it's a drawer. I like that this for Buffalo Games has a plastic bag that you can reuse versus their traditional like gluing the puzzle box together, you know? So as far as the quality of the box, beautiful, giftable, like so much fun. However, let's go into the puzzle not my favorite and i have done a ton of buffalo games and i've never experienced as many false fits as i have with this one i like the piece cut where it has like the little zigzag like that's super fun but the issues i had was first fits the fit was awful it had so many crumbly fits it did not hold together well and i have never really experienced that too much with a buffalo game puzzle the other issue i had with is the coloring I could not see like from here down. It was super dark, much more dark than the poster and definitely darker than the box. I had a really hard time with that. Also, it was super glossy. So with the glare, it also made it a little bit more challenging. So I didn't enjoy this and I wish it was like their regular Buffalo Games quality inside this box versus how they did it with like a different cardboard and such. I just... I wanted to love it and I didn't. It's such a bummer. Another thing to mention about this brand, they're all like more of these like sultry photograph style images. It's not my normal go-to, not my favorite type of thing. So I don't, I'm not gonna buy more from them from this line, but I don't know. It was worth trying. I just don't think I'd buy more. And then the final puzzle that I have here is my favorite of the month. And I think I actually did it around like July 1st. So it's right off at the beginning of the month. And this may be my favorite puzzle I've done all year if not like the past couple years i loved it this one is from the magic puzzle company and it's called mystic maze so many of you have responded from that video i did that you also love their stuff and i need to get more of theirs they have come out in series it started off as a kickstarter brand and i love this puzzle so much there are some things i can't really discuss about it because there are some mysteries and some surprises which i do discuss at the end of that video if you wanted to know the surprises and what makes them special you can go ahead and check out that but I loved it so much. I love the fit. I love the finish. I love everything about this puzzle. I loved the surprises. It was so much fun. 100% will be buying more from them. I even told Dave to put it on my Christmas list. Like, loved it. So much fun. So those are the puzzles that I just wanted to mention here for my July roundup. I did a total of 14 puzzles, 8,300 pieces, and I have a feeling I'm going to do a lot more this month with my 30 day challenge. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.